Hi Stampers, this is Jose from StampingJoe.com and welcome to this week's Stampin' Gals Gone Wild Wednesday freebie. Now, you may have noticed that Connie did the last couple of weeks. My voice was completely crazy these this past week. I have had a cold and it's just starting to get better. So, this time we are going to do a wine bottle card and you can see that it uses some not necessarily Christmas um, framelits, but it looks really pretty on a wine bottle. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a piece of real red cardstock cut to eight and a half by four and three quarters, and then scored at four and one quarter. So we're going to take our floral frames framelits. That's a hard one to say. And we've already folded here. It's easiest with your magnetic platform. So we're going to take that, put our acrylic plate. And put your cardstock on and you want to have it so that it doesn't cut the um, crease mark. So we're just going to put it right over the crease mark. Oh, it's just popping here. Might have to move. I find sometimes it depends on um, your framelits. They kind of move. They get magnetic. Okay, so we're going to put it right about there and we're going to put this on and we're going to run that right through the big shot. So now that that's gone through the big shot, we can peel away the excess and what you have left over is your folding card. So we took the real red cardstock again with the exact same framelit, so this is the biggest one, and we cut out two of those. And what you're going to do is you're going to use that as your back and your front. Before we put it together, we're actually going to do a little bit of sponging. So I took a wedge of our Stampin' Sponge and we're just going to add some color on the edges just to give it a little bit of texture. Okay, so now that we've done the texturing, we're going to put this together. So this is our gold sequin trim and it is really pretty. And all you want to do is you want to make that into your um, your handle that's going to go around your bottle. So this is actually quite a lot, so we'll just trim a little bit more. And I find the easiest thing to do to make sure that it stays is to use some sticky strip. So we're just going to put some sticky strip across here and that's going to hold it nice and together. And we don't even have to take it apart, but we probably will anyhow just because we have to put this part on top. So now that I have all my sticky strip on, I'm going to take one of my layers, and this is going to be my back, and we're going to offset it a bit so that it goes kind of like this. And then you can take your second layer, which is going to be the front of the card. So here's the fold still. So now we've got our back, which is still at the front, but our back piece and our front piece, and we want to offset that one too. Now this one, I'm just going to use some of our Tombow. So I've pre-cut three other flowers using the exact same framelits in real red. And then we have our gold foil paper. And then our um, Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer paper, which just will add a lot of pop and shine at the very top. So we're going to do the same. We're going to take our sponge with some red and just go all the way around just to add again some more dimension and you want to do that on this layer and also on the glimmer paper. So with this layer here we're going to use our Lucky Stars embossing folder and we're just going to run that through the Big Shot and add some of the stars around it. So I want more at the edges so I can kind of see them so just kind of move things around until you like the position and we're going to put that through the big shot. So now that we have these pieces done, the next step that I did is I punched out some red glimmer paper using our stars framelits and now we're just going to assemble. So we want to put 
this on next and once we're all done we're going to um, kind of use our bone folder to make all of these kind of pop up. So since I have this handy I'm just going to use my Tombow for each one of these layers to make sure it stays on really really well. So while that's drying I'm going to take just a white strip of cardstock and we cut this to just one inch and once it's totally cut it'll be about four inches and I took the greeting out of the happy hour stamp set this is a super cute all year round stamp set and it actually has a nice Christmas greeting on it so we're just going to stamp that in real red and you want to do it kind of in the middle of where your four inches are going to be and we're going to take our hexagon punch and this is perfect for creating those core or those little um, V's at the back to make your own little flag. So you just want to make it nice and straight between this line and this line and punch out both sides. All right, so there's our little banner. And again, we're going to take our sponge and just add a bit of red all the way around. I'm just creating a lot of texture on this one. And then you're going to take your bone folder and you want to kind of bend it in the middle this way and then we're going to take each edge and bend it up. So we're going to take back our tag and you're going to see that it does take a little bit of time for that Tombow to um, dry especially on this metallic looking paper so you just want to be careful not to move that but we're going to go around and just start to work at adding a little bit of curl to our flowers. So now that we've got all of our curl, we're going to take some of our little basic pearls and we're just going to put some on top of our little red star just to make it a little cuter. And then the last step is to take back our banner and we're just going to put some Tombow at the corners of our banner like this. And again, it's going to take some time for that to dry, so just be patient. And we're going to put that right on top of our cute little tag. Now, of course, you could use this tag on a card. You could use it just as a tag for a gift. Or you could use that for a wine bottle. But how cute is that? So thanks for watching, and we will see you back soon. <music>